Hello guys, Sarajdas here and welcome to a new series. Today we're going to be playing the Calamity mod in Terraria. And uh, this is my first time seeing this mod to be honest. I've seen people play it. I've got a glimpse of what it's like but I don't actually know what this mod's all about. Uh, so we're just going to play through this. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is build a basic house. So I'm going to do that. So guys, that's the house done. Uh, it's just extremely basic. But uh, I really want to get to exploring. So we're going to go do that now. So guys, I think the first thing we're going to do is get some cactus armor. Since it's quite easy to get. Just mine a few cactuses in the desert. Hopefully won't die here. Although there might be some really strong enemies in this mod. I don't know at all. But Cat's Armor is extremely good for early game and it's got a decent pickaxe, decent sword, which could get me through the first boss. Oh, I think that's the first new enemy I've seen. First new thing at all I've seen. A Wolfram slime. I hope it's not really strong. Uh, that's an oof. It does look quite interesting though, that Wolfram shard. Gonna make some armor. Then get back over there. So guys, we've got the shards, the Wolfram shard, and now some Wolfram dream kill me. I, I don't know what this is to be honest. I'm guessing it's like a extremely early game or something. Wolfram. I do have like this mod that allows you to tell me what I can craft with it. Um, it looks like early game ranged armor. I do have a desert feather as well, which makes sandstorm and bottle extremely easily. Oh, I do need feathers though, so I will have to go into the sky to get it. But that that's gonna be really useful early game. Found our first cave, so we're gonna explore this. Seems the corruption is. Quite close to our house though. I do have a mod on that stops the spread of corruption. But I'm not sure whether it does it automatically. For here, there's some commands I'll have to use. Because honestly, I just don't like the spread of the corruption. The game just thinks it sort of ruins it. But if people do want me to turn it off, I will turn it off, I suppose. First chest. It's got pretty trash loot in it, to be honest. No, like, main item in it. Just a bit of a shame. Right, all these caves down here are corruption, and that is extremely bad. Although, if this leads into the underground corruption with some, like, hearts, then could mean some early game good weapons. Uh, and it goes down, and there's one of the main areas. If I have any bombs, which I do not, and I could get down there. But I don't have any bombs on me at the moment. So I have to wait till the Demolist arrives. I do have grenades, which means you could arrive. Oh, there's a crystal heart down there. I just noticed it as I was leaving. Right, time for first crystal heart. Oh, life crystal. Boom. I think I'm going to leave the corruption because um, there's nothing really good for me to do here. But now I know this is here, meaning when I get when my demo list arrives, I can come back here, get some really good early loot. What is that? Ebonian Bright Slime or something like that. Pretty cool. Right, my new plan now is to survive the desert biome because I can't really survive the corruption. So I'm just gonna have to go right. I'm gonna try my luck in the underground desert. 
because I sort of do need to get back. But any loot from here will be epic. Okay, that's already not good. Alright, I'm going to see how I do against this Antelion Swarmer. Probably going to die extremely quickly. Although, it seems it can't hit me. Oh no, that wasn't what I meant to do. Okay, that does nothing. I wonder if it can get me through here. Yes, it can. Pretty sure it's about to go through them blocks then, when I hit it. Right, that is like harassment to my ears. I don't know what's making that noise. Okay, no thank you. That does a lot of damage. So it seems the calamity mod or I think it's Calamity Mod. Okay, that goes through blocks. No, no thank you. No thank you. That was not what I wanted when I came to the desert. And there's another one. And now I died. Oh, what was that? Melee weapon proficiency level up. Right, I did see a gold chest down there. But... I'm gonna go try my luck with it. Right, so my plan has got to go down, basically follow the route I did before. So down there, I hear something just pick up my coins. Definitely heard it, meaning there is something down there. All right, a bon uh, band of regeneration is all right. Oh uh, no, it seems the merchant arrived first. Maybe he always arrives first. Maybe he's just like a rule that he's got. Seems there's a lot of ant lions everywhere, and now there's a storm lion. I hadn't seen another one of those big things. So maybe they're just a rare spawn and I got really unlucky. Or really lucky, depending on how you think about it. Storm Lion Mandible. I think this was the thing to kill to spawn the boss. Storm Surge. Right, there's a lot of new ores. It seems. Which, I don't know, I don't really like ores in a mod. Like, I know they're useful and stuff. But, I just like fighting enemies and bosses ready to get all the loot. I do have Alchemist NPC enabled. And that mod's got a bunch of weapons that just fights bosses to upgrade your weapons. Like, uh, they're called legendary weapons, and... Um... Alright, gotta quickly mine this crystal heart. They're called legendary weapons anyway. They, like, they just get upgraded from fighting the bosses. Right, so anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode one. Next episode, we're going to be building a few more houses. Hopefully then the demolist will move in. And we'll probably have to build two more, just because the nurse will move in as well. And then we're going to be blowing up some crimson hearts. If we get that done, we'll go past the desert. And visit over here. Hopefully we'll find some good caves. Because this one was a bit of a disappointment. Just led into the bottom of the corruption. Anyway guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.